The Evotech ECR is a washer and disinfector indicated for use with high-level disinfectant Cytex OPA concentrate and an enzymatic detergent, Cytozyme Extra, to achieve cleaning and high-level disinfection of heat-sensitive semi-critical endoscopes. The Evotech is designed to automatically clean and high-level disinfect flexible, submersible video or fiber optic endoscopes. High-level disinfection requires that the system be used with Cytex OPA concentrate solution according to the instructions for use. This system has been validated by ASP and has been cleared by the FDA for use with Cytex OPA concentrate solution. In this video, we will provide an overview of the Evotech ECR, covering personal protective equipment, pre-cleaning, leak testing, manual cleaning, connectors, proper handling and loading of the endoscope, cycles, and finally, utilities and maintenance. Personal protective equipment should always be used by all personnel according to your healthcare facility's procedures. PPE includes a clean fluid resistant gown, clean chemical resistant gloves, and eye protection with a face mask. Additionally, it is important to note that the Evotech ECR generates a magnetic field, so individuals with pacemakers should remain at least one foot away from the unit. Procedure room pre-cleaning should be performed immediately after removal of the insertion tube and within the patient's room. It is recommended that endoscopes be reprocessed within one hour after the initial patient procedure. Failure to perform the gross macro bioburden removal associated with a procedure room pre-cleaning may result in inadequate cleaning and disinfection in the reprocessor. A leak test is performed in the Evotech at the beginning of the cycle to check for large leaks that would prevent the endoscope from being reprocessed and is necessary prior to the endoscope coming into contact with water. The endoscope is pressurized throughout the cycle to prevent invasion of liquid. Just prior to the end of the cycle, the endoscope is again checked for leaks. Be aware of three key points regarding leak testing. First, the red leak test connector is not used for scopes qualified for disinfection only. Second, the automated leak test is not a substitute for the manufacturer's leak test. Third, if you are using a video endoscope, be sure to attach the protective video cap. The Evotech ECR has been validated by the FDA to eliminate the manual cleaning process of the endoscope. However, it is the facility and department's decision to determine the extent of manual cleaning required prior to placing the scope in the Evotech. Use of the Evotech ECR does not eliminate bedside cleaning and may not eliminate manual cleaning. Healthcare facilities should follow their own policies and procedures related to the reprocessing of endoscopes to ensure they are complying with all steps recommended by the device manufacturers and are consistent with current standards and guidelines. Not all endoscopes can be automatically cleaned, but may be high-level disinfected. It is recommended that endoscopes with open, closed elevator wire channels be manually cleaned as per manufacturer's instructions in addition to using the cleaning cycle of the Evotech system. Please refer to the Evotech ECR user guide and specific connection diagrams for more detailed information regarding cycle capabilities. There are times when the scope must be manually cleaned before placing in the Evotech. For example, if the endoscope is not qualified to be reprocessed in an Evotech, if the scope was used on an unusually dirty case, for example, if the procedure was bloody or for removal of a food bolus, or if the patient had little to no prep, if staples, stents, bands, clips, or other items were used during the procedure through a channel, if the scope is a specialty scope such as ERCP or therapeutic, if more than one hour has passed since the scope was removed from the patient, if you are unsure of when or where the scope was last used, Certain scopes have been validated by ASP for disinfect only. If this is the case, 
The scope will appear on the Evotec scope drop-down list in yellow font. Before running the disinfect only cycle, a prompt will ask if you have manually cleaned this scope. You must respond yes or no before the unit will allow you to proceed. Your account manager will supply you with connector diagrams after you provide an accurate list of scope models used in your facility. Connector diagrams are identified by the first five digits of the connector part number. There are seven digits on the actual connector. The last two digits reflect the revision number to be used when ordering parts. Make sure you confirm that the part numbers printed on the connectors are correct for the scopes you are processing. The diagram also demonstrates where to place your connector both on the basin and the scope. To open the Evotec lid, step on the foot pedal of the side you wish to use for one second, or use the touch screen button with clean hands or gloves. To connect your scope to the basin, snap the color-coded connectors into the corresponding color-coded ports on the Evotech basin. Confirm that you hear and feel a click to verify the connectors are fully snapped properly into the basin. The brown connector will fit into the black port. To run a cycle, all six basin ports must have a connector in place. When a diagram does not indicate that a colored connector is needed, a clear connector will be required to connect the scope to the basin. You must have a connector in each port to ensure that each scope channel will receive proper profusion of chemicals, air, and water. While placing the connectors, inspect them for wear and tear, and replace them if you notice any tears, cracks, or damage. For proper handling and loading of an endoscope, Hold the distal end of the endoscope in one hand and the umbilicus loosely coiled in the other. Guide the insertion tube gently through the two metal bars that lead to the helical tubing in the basin. Position the endoscope head in the basin so that the umbilicus is loosely coiled and resting on the basin edge. The head of the scope should be gently placed with the knobs facing up to prevent unnecessary stress. If the scope requires a water-resistant cap, sometimes known as a soaking cap, confirm that it is in place. If the scope requires a channel separator, insert it into the ports where the water suction buttons have been removed. While inserting the channel separator, do not contact the release button. The release button should be gently placed in the basin. Connect the red leak test connector to the port on the water-resistant cap. Check to ensure the connectors are placed in a way that will prevent them from being caught in the spray arm when the lid is closed for processing. The connectors should be lower than the metal bar that encircles the basin. Place any small scope accessories, such as the water suction buttons, in the metal mesh basket and place in the basin. After proper placement of the scope and connectors, remove contaminated gloves. Wipe any exterior areas of the Evotech with alcohol-based wipes as it may have come in contact with a dirty scope. Simultaneously touch the close lid button on the touch screen and the close lid button on the front panel for the basin use. The lid should close completely. You will hear an audible sound as the lid seals.
To start a cycle, touch the side of the startup control panel in which your scope has been placed, basin A or B. If your facility has opted to require operator identification, you will enter your user PIN. Select the endoscope ID from the drop-down scope list. Select Patient ID and enter the patient information, if applicable, for your department. A scanner can be connected to the Evotech to automate patient data input. Next, select the physician and the type of procedure if applicable. Then, touch the green Start button to begin the cycle. To complete a cycle with clean hands or gloves, enter your user identification PIN. Review the cycle printout and verify that the process was completed the MEC was met, and HLD was achieved. Open the lid with a foot pedal or by pressing the Lid Open button on the screen. Disconnect the endoscope connector and remove the channel separator, if applicable. Then gently remove the scope while drying it with a lint-free towel. Dry and store the scope following departmental policy. Finally, remove any accessories from the mesh basket and store them according to your facility's policy. If the cycle cancels, the touch screen will be red and an alarm will sound. The reason for the cancellation will be displayed on the printout. Cancellations may occur if there is something wrong with the endoscope, the way it was loaded, or if the system has malfunctioned. The message will direct you to which action to take if a cycle cancels. You may also touch the Help button for more information. After the last cycle of the day, remove endoscopes from the basins. Remove and store all connectors. Wipe the edge seals with alcohol. Wipe the basin with a clean, lint-free cloth. Then leave the system switched on to reduce startup time for the next day. ASP recommends the self-disinfect procedure be performed at least once per week or when the 0.2 micron filters are changed. The length of time to run a self-disinfect in both sides simultaneously is approximately two hours. The Evotech will display a pop-up reminder when it is time to self-disinfect the system. Follow the provided self-disinfect poster for step-by-step -step instructions. Failure to follow the self-disinfect reminders may result in contamination or bacterial growth and lead to an inadequate disinfection of subsequent loads. PPE is required for this process, and both basins must be empty to run a self-disinfect. If your facility is known to have low water conductivity, you may need to place salt pellets into the wire accessory basket in each basin while running a self-disinfect. To do this, remove all scopes, accessories, and colored connectors. Replace the colored connectors with clear connectors. The red connector should be removed, but not replaced with another connector. Open the right-hand door of the system and unsnap the quick disconnect fitting on the 0.2 micron filter bracket. 
Rotate it 180 degrees and snap it firmly back into place. You will hear the fitting click into place when properly seated. The red label on the filter connector should be facing left. Next, close both lids, then go into your utility screen and select the self-disinfect icon located on the top right of the screen. This will prompt you through the proper process and provide you a start button to initiate the self-disinfect cycle. The process will start when the hot water has reached the required temperature. When the self-disinfect cycle is complete, turn the quick disconnect fittings 180 degrees back to the setting with a green portion of the label facing left. Check closely that both fittings have been snapped into place properly. There will be two noticeable clicks on each fitting when properly seated. Remove the clear connectors and store until the next use. Then reattach the color connectors so that the system will be ready to run the next reprocessing cycle. The system will indicate on the screen when any of the chemicals are low or empty with a yellow warning. This warning will occur when there are approximately six cycles left in the bottle. A red screen indicates that a bottle is empty and will no longer run a cycle until the Evotec solutions have been replaced. PPE is required and both basins must be idle to change solutions. To replace Cytozyme Extra Multi-Enzymatic Detergent Solution, touch the button on the display screen that shows three bottles and states Replace Solutions. At the bottom of the screen, select the button Replace Detergent. From the new bottle of detergent, enter the expiration date into the Expiration Date field. Then hit Done. Open the cabinet door and remove the lid from the Cytozyme Extra bottle and transfer it onto the new bottle of Cytozyme Extra. Clean up any drips with towels. Dispose of container according to facility policy. Be sure to follow SDS sheets and instructions for use for Cytozyme Extra. To replace Cytex OPAC solution concentrate solution, touch the button on the display screen that shows three bottles and states Replace Solutions. At the bottom of the screen, select the button that reads Replace Disinfectant. Type in the expiration date and lot number from the new bottle of OPAC into the appropriate fields. Open the new bottle of OPAC and insert the new blue cap with a tube into the bottle and tighten. Open the door of the cabinet and remove the quick connect hose coming from the cap of the blue Cytex OPAC. Reattach the quick connect hose from the system to the cap of the new bottle of solution. Clean up any drips with towels. Dispose of containers according to facility policy. Be aware that the tubing and bottle may contain residual disinfectant. Be sure to follow SDS sheets and instructions for use for Cytex OPAC. The EvoTech will alert you when the alcohol level is insufficient to complete a scope cycle. The best practice is to routinely check the alcohol reservoir throughout the day and refill as needed. Use only untinted 70% isopropyl alcohol in the EvoTech. To replenish alcohol, open the alcohol port and fill until alcohol is at the fill line or about one inch from the top of the port. Close the alcohol fill port lid and the system will automatically detect the additional solution.
To change an internal 0.2 micron filter, first unplug the Evotech. Wearing PPE, place towels or absorbent cloths to absorb any dripping water. Unhook the rubber band holding the filter housing and unfasten the top quick disconnect by pulling it up. Place your finger over the hole and continue to hold your finger over the top hole. Next, unfasten the bottom quick disconnect by pulling it up. A small amount of water may drip. Unfasten the twist connector on the top front of the filter. Discard the filter housing according to your facility's policy. Fit the new filter into place and make sure the arrows on the filter housing point up. Then refasten the connectors to make sure they are firmly seated. And fasten the twist connector. Now plug in the system and turn it on. Next, perform a manual water fill using the diagnostic menu. While observing the water flow in the filter to make sure there is no air gap. If an air gap is seen, it can be removed by loosening the front connector. Finally, proceed to self-disinfect cycle. If items have fallen into the insertion tube, you need to remove them before running a cycle. The manifold serving the left A basin is located on the right. The manifold serving the right B basin is on the left. Unfasten the clamp and remove it. Remove the O-ring and save these items for later use. The course screen is inside this base unit. You should be able to see the course screen and remove anything that may be blocking the flow of liquids. If the items that fell into the insertion tube are not visible, please call your local ASP contact center for additional information. Reposition the O-ring and secure circulation manifold and clamp Then perform a water fill while watching for any leaks. Finally, drain. If a message is displayed indicating that there is a system overflow, the drip tray needs to be cleaned. The drip tray is located under the white plate in the middle of the unit. To clean, place your finger in the indentation on the left and lift up the plate. Next, wipe out the drip tray with a dry cloth and clean the sensor on the bottom of the plate. Finally, press the plate back into place. The printer is a thermal printer. If the paper is wrong or inserted backwards, the printer will not print. To change the printer paper, Open the unit by pushing the Open button. Remove any unused paper and replace it with a new roll by placing it in the tray so that the paper comes from underneath the roll. Pull out enough paper so that it extends outside the printer. Close the lid, then use the button provided on the front of the printer to advance the paper. The serial number is located on the top of each printout and on a small silver plate found internally on the left side of the device. When calling for service, this serial number is also referred to as your Evotech account number. The Evotech ECR utility screen offers a number of key features. User Administrator walks you through how to add or delete users. Cycle History provides your processed printouts at a glance and allows you to make a copy of the printout when necessary. Date and time is where you'll check and change dates. Touch the arrows next to each field to change the month, day, year, hours, 
minutes, seconds, and time zone. Touch the boxes to choose the time and date display formats and to choose AM or PM for the 12 hour format. Touch Done to save your changes and exit the display. Touch Cancel to exit the display without saving changes. Note the reprocessor does not automatically change the time for daylight savings time. Planned Maintenance displays your last maintenance and when maintenance is due next. Scope Setup allows you to add and delete scopes as necessary. Cycle Setup provides the login required to place scope type, patient identification, and physician performing procedure, the login required to remove a scope, and also allows changes at process time. Self-disinfect walks you through the steps to complete a self-disinfect cycle. Edit Physicians allows you to add and delete physicians and procedures. System Diagnostics provides troubleshooting messages. Each Evotech ECR comes with a user's guide. It is your resource for every function of the Evotech and is a manual that all employees using an Evotech ECR should be familiar with. This manual should be immediately available to all staff in the reprocessing room. All employees using the Evotech ECR should have thorough initial training and ongoing competencies. You will also receive an Evotech ECR system training kit, which provides you with device training verification checklists, a self-disinfect wall chart, installation requirements and product specifications, tip sheets, data sheets on Cytex OPAC and Cytozyme Extra, an accessory order list, chemical safety data sheets, and instructions for use. Please be sure to read and follow the instructions for use prior to using for important information including contraindications, warnings, and proper directions. This concludes our overview of the Evotech ECR. For additional questions or information related to other ASP products and solutions, please reach out to your local ASP representative or call us at 888-STAIRAD.